NASA's Artemis missions will bring humans to the moon, creating a long-term presence before we journey on to Mars. And a key part of exploration is getting science data and voice communication to Earth. During the Apollo era, astronauts communicated directly to Earth uh, because there was no other way of doing it. That also limited the locations where they could land. They could only choose locations in the lunar equator that could communicate uh, and have direct access to Earth. With Artemis, we plan to venture into uncharted territory, the Lunar South Pole. NASA's partnering with commercial entities to provide the communication services that we need to use and bring the modern world of telecommunications to the moon. Relays will allow astronauts, rovers, and orbiters to explore with a constant connection back to Earth. NASA has used relays around Earth for decades to communicate with missions like the International Space Station, Hubble, and many more. The lunar relays are going to behave more like space routers. That means they're going to use internet protocol communications. They're going to use disruption tolerant network communications. In addition, they're going to have the ability to help astronauts navigate around the moon as they behave like a GPS constellation. Through the Artemis program, NASA will land the first crew of astronauts on the moon in over 50 years. Their journey, along with fellow rovers and orbiters, will require robust communications and navigation support.